OK, so continuing on with our uh, DC circuits and uh, series and, re and parallel resistors, let's get to the parallel part then. So I'm going to put a quick parallel circuit together. And it looks like this. So in this case here, whether I put a voltmeter or a battery supply or that, let's just wait for that for a second. Let's call this R1. Let's call this R2. Now let's say 10 ohms, 40 ohms. How's that? OK, so what is the value if I look in here? So there's my eyeball. And I'm looking into the circuit, or I put an ohmmeter across it, as you'll learn in the labs. What am I measuring as far as resistance goes? What is the total resistance? Well, in spite of Ohm's law of equals IR, here what we need to do is realize that in resistors in parallel are different than resistors in series. In series, in series, our total is R1 plus R2 in series, in series. In parallel, we have to use a different formula. So let's look at that again. If I apply a voltage here across this circuit, the voltage across R1 is going to be the same as the voltage across R2. Okay, The voltage across R1. Therefore, the current through R1 will be this. And the voltage across R2, same voltage, is going to be the same as the source voltage across the total resistance. So the current through here plus the current through here is going to equal the total current, Ohm's law, I equals V over R. OK, let's clean this equation up a little bit. So we've got here OK, I've just taken the common term out. Now, if I divide this side by V and this side by V, they're going to cancel out. What I'm left with is this is a formula that we use for two resistors in parallel. Now, some professors stop here because with a calculator, so we've got here 1 over 10, and we've got 1 over 40 is equal to 1 over the total. 1 over 10 is 0 0.1. 1 over 40 is 0 0.025. That's going to equal 1 over the total. So what we've got is, uh, let me just come up here. 1 over the total is equal to 0 0.125. Now, this is 1 over the total, which means if I want to know the total, I have to divide, in this case here, uh, or sorry, I have to multiply the top and bottom here by RT or invert it, let's say. Let's, let's say invert it. Okay, let's just flip it. So that means that RT is equal to um, 1 divided by 0 0.125. Okay. And if you check that out, that will equal uh, 8 ohms. Okay. Now, one of the rules that you need to uh, capture is that whenever resistors are in parallel, that the resulting resistance will be less than the lowest one. And as noted here, the lowest one was 10 ohms. The result is 8 ohms. So you can stop here and do the math. And then, as I said, this has to be inverted. OK? And so if I brought RT up here and put 0.125, you understand it's the same concept. Some people like to do it that way and take this one down. You're still flipping it. You're still flipping it to come up with this result. 
That, that is fine. That works. And I'll show you another quick way of doing this when you start to play with this formula and expand it out. So just give me a second. I'm going to clean this for a touch. And we'll be right there. Just going to use this space here. So I want to take the 1 over RT and expand it out. So in this case here, what I'll do is uh, this, we do something like this. So I'm going to end up with 1 over RT equal to, in this case here, R2 plus R1 over R1 times R2. Again, I've got to flip this, right? I can either multiply RT up here, bring R1, R2 over there, take R2 plus R1 down. But the result will look like this, or just flip it. And so if I multiply 10 times 4, I'll have 400. And 40 times 10 is 50. Same number. Same number. So either you do it with your calculator this way, or if you're a little more agile in your mathematical formulas, you can use this one. This is fine for two resistors. It gets a little more involved with three resistors. This will always hold as far as 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4 plus 1 over. As long as you get out there, it'll always hold. And so your, your calculator should be able to handle it. The only, the only thing is, Please make sure that when you're punching those buttons that you're stopping to make sure that the lowest resistor is more than the result that you will get.